And hey, it is an old gamer, and we are here today to do a little bit of G3 Guild War. But before that, I want to tell you guys about a special Halloween transmog pack giveaway that we'll be doing on the channel in one week from tomorrow. So this video is released on Saturday night, and one week from tomorrow, so Sunday, October 25th at 1:30 p.m. I will be streaming on YouTube live and we'll be doing three transmog pack giveaways. So the first two winners will be able to pick any one of the three packs that they want. I'll log on to your account on stream and buy the pack. The final winner will be able to get the entire three pack bundle. So guys, the way to enter this, it's really simple. If you hang out on my streams during the week, you earn points through a bot that monitors chat. With those points, you can enter the giveaway. So it's gonna be uh, 250 points to enter each of the first two giveaways, 500 points to enter the third, so 1,000 points total. You earn 50 points an hour for hanging out on stream, and then there's also some betting and some other fun stuff that you can do to try and earn more points as well. So guys, the giveaway is really just a giant thank you to all of the people who have followed the channel, helped it grow, and of course, who hang out with us on stream three times a week. Now, one really important thing for you guys to know, because a lot of people have told me they've had trouble with um, not necessarily getting points for all the time that they're on stream. So first of all, you have to be on the stream live. I don't have any control over this. It's just how the bot works. You have to be on stream live. You have to be signed into YouTube and then you have to be watching on an active window. And what that means is like, if you minimize it and you're just listening, then YouTube doesn't show you as an active viewer and the bot doesn't recognize you. Now, I, I wish I had control over this guys. I really do, but I don't, I'm not the one who wrote the bot. So unfortunately to get points, you do have to be signed in on YouTube and watching on an active window. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the stream on uh, that Sunday. We've got a fun one going. We're gonna be doing a rune cleanup. Uh, I've got two other streams confirmed for this week. One is gonna be a huge, huge summoning session for Merrick on the Friday before the giveaway. The other is gonna be a really big reap session on Tuesday. So, if you guys want to know more about which streams are scheduled, please be sure to join our Discord server. There's a link in the video description. I am posting my streams in advance. Now, I, uh, because of work, I haven't been able to keep to a regular stream schedule, but I am trying to post as many uh, confirmed streams in advance as I can in the Discord channel. And also, a lot of people have asked me if and when I'll start to stream on Twitch, so that's most likely going to start at the end of October or the beginning of November. Guys, thank you very much, and I mean this sincerely. Sincerely, thank you very much for supporting the channel, for helping it to grow, for hanging out with me on stream. Uh, it's been a blast. And with that, let's get to Guild War. Okay, guys, so we are doing G3 Guild War. Now, you can see we're actually G2. We were G3 when this Guild War started. We got knocked down. As long as we win this, we'll be back to G3. So we're fighting the rank 20 Guild Dopamina right now. I think uh, they were actually higher when the Guild War started as well. Just wanted to show you guys where we're at. We're going to jump into the first fight. Okay, for our first fight, we've got Kyle Pass. You can see that he's got a reasonably strong defense. Uh, we are going to be looking at this Jean, Theo, and Rahul, which is always a tough one. And then we're going to be looking at this Fenyang, uh, Perna, and Molly. So for this top fight, we're going to use the Tetra to counter the, uh, basically the Jean provokes and then anything that the Rahul may do to us. We're going to use the Ciara because she doesn't have to dire attack directly if the Rahul hugs. We're using the Zingze, hopefully to get the occasional stun. Obviously, it's going to be a full resistance team over there, so we probably won't get too many stuns with the Zingze. Uh, but my Ciara at 82 accuracy should be able to land most of her bombs. Uh, the Tetra is going to provide us with that additional heal. And our goal here is really once we take down that Theomars, the Tetra sustain should outpace um, any damage the Rahul can do. For the bottom one, we're going with the Fenyang, Barbara, and Amelia. So the Amelia is going to give us uh, the immunity to prevent, uh, you know, to protect from the Fenyang defense breaks. Also gives my Fenyang a defense buff. And then the um, Barbara is going to be in there for the attack bar manipulation or attack bar reduction on the uh, Perna and also just generally to kill the Perna and defense break. Okay, so we'll start off. And I know I said the first hit would go to the uh, Jean, but for some reason I just had a brain freeze there. <laughs> and I just made a mistake. Um, so there you go. Streamer's delight, right? I just completely made a mistake on that. But uh, such it is. Do we try and strip the hug? With a resistance team, I don't think we do, so I think we just try and strip the um, the speed buff there. And now we just have to wait out the hug. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we'll just plant the bomb here because we want to stun it. Uh, we will bang on the Rahul a little bit. Can we stun him? We cannot. Alright, let's go ahead and shield this uh, Ciara. See if we can strip the speed buff. Alright, we are not gonna detonate yet. We just wanna get through. Don't don't hit me too hard, please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I made a big mistake. That was a big mistake at the start. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hopefully get the stun there. We're not gonna detonate yet because of the invincibility, obviously. Okay, we got the stun, but it, somehow we did not proc the... Oh, we did proc the indoor. Okay, okay, we're good. Can we stun? I think we can win this without the Ciara, but I'd really rather not test that theory. <laughs> so... Oh, that initial hit on the the Theomars, I, I just tried to strip it with the, um, basically I was trying to strip it. Man, I haven't gotten one stun yet because of this resistance lead. That was some nice procs, but she's gone. Okay. Now we're in for a long fight. And there we go. Okay, moving on to the next fight. Now we can see that the uh, Perna right now has uh, immunity. So since the only buffs over there are going to be from the Fenyang, we're actually going to go ahead and just try and strip this immunity and see if the Barber procs. Uh, she didn't proc, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and put the Amelia down into human form. And I think we're going to wait one turn on the defense buff because we want to put up the Fenyang counter. So we'll just try and freeze the Perna right here. Okay, that strip was bad. That strip was actually very bad. Let's go at this Fenyang and hopefully he just tries to cleanse. Okay, he did it either way, but he procced right back at us. Okay. All right, now we should be able to almost take that first Perna life. We'll get our defense buff up. Let's continue to go at the Perna. We did at least get the slow right there. Wow, that Molly proc is so... <laughs> Perna just completely heals in one turn. Uh, but let's see, can we freeze? We got the freeze, so that's good. And now this should take all the Perna attack bar and the first life or not uh, okay we did at least take the first perna life uh, we'll clear off that stun of course now you can see the enemy fenyang is not on destroy which is um, probably good for us right now because it's gonna be a little bit of a longer fight can we defense break we can so this should finish it oh didn't quite get it all right, can we break this shield? We cannot, that is such a thick molly shield right there. No freeze. Ah, I'm really tempted to go at this Perna, but I think I have to, uh, I have to get my counter up. All right, we should be good. Barbara served to roll. I just needed Barbara in there to kill this Perna, which we got. And now the Amelia and the Fenyang could, should theoretically just be able to solo out from here. Again, this will be a little bit of a longer fight because that Molly will, like, never die. <laughs> um, Molly is just so freaking strong. I would love a Molly. But eventually we're going to land a defense break. It'll take a while, but eventually we'll land a defense break and then we'll be able to go through. Go ahead and get our defense buff up. And this is probably GG right here. Uh, you know, just take him out right there. All right, there we go. First match in the books. Let's move on to the next. Okay, for our second match, we've got the Sierra Orion Perna and the Chiwu Savannah Bastet. So for this top one, uh, basically anytime you're going against an Orion, you just want to bring in a Shield Will team. Now my Amelia, Amelia is missing Will runes, uh, but my Bulwark is Shield Will. Uh, you'll notice that all of them are 98 resistance or higher. My Skogel is um, also Violent Will. So the Skogel and the Bulwark are protected, the Amelia's max resistance. In a worst case scenario, the uh, Ciara would target the Amelia, but the Perna is not going to hit the Amelia, even if it gets defense broken. So my Amelia will survive. She's got a chance to proc. If not, she'll get healed by Bulwark. So this is a very reliable counter for me against this team. Now, for this bottom team, we're rolling the dice a little bit. So the basic concept here is we're going with an all defense team. So my Fen Yang's going to have a ton of defense. He's fine. Uh, my Tyrannus is a little bit lower, so he's going to be around, uh, what, 25, about 2,800 defense. And then the Vela Jewel is going to be a little bit lower at about 2,600. We do have Will Runes on both, uh, excuse me, on um, 
yeah, on both the Tyrannus and the Villagel. So the enemy team here, it's basically doing this AoE strip, then it's going for the, uh, you know, his theory is um, he's gonna get the attack buff from the Bastet to offset the qualifier on the Savannah skill three, which is that she can't reduce, uh, she can't break your defense unless her attack power is higher than your defense. So the basic concept here though, is the enemy only has one damage dealer, which is the Savannah. Um, I Fen Yang could pretty much handle the Savannah by himself because uh, no matter what, even with the attack buff, Fen's, Feng's not gonna get his uh, defense broken. Now, I've got a couple of opportunities here. Either the Tyrannus or the Velijul resist the strip from the Chiwu, or they do get enough. See, the thing for me is I'm seeing like with him needing that attack bar boost to the point where he only has one attacker. Um, I, not the attack bar boost, sorry, the attack power buff. I'm thinking the Savannah is low power. Uh, so if the Savannah is only, let's say like 1700 attack power, like, or 1800 plus a thousand because he's trying to make it super fast, then I'm gonna have enough defense that I won't get defense broken. Savannah also could derp, or with all of that failing, Savannah doesn't have double AoEs and my Tyrannus can just resurrect. So no matter what, I do believe I'm gonna take control of the fight. Now you can see right here, the Amelia did get bombed. Uh, she did not resist the stun uh, and she did not um, actually proc through. So that was basically all worst case scenarios. I still feel pretty good about this. Um, I don't love that proc, unfortunately. The proc was not good for me, but we did at least not get defense broken by the um, by the Orion. CR did not proc, and there you go. We've got control of the fight. Even if CR had proc'd and I took a second bomb, I still would have been fine. Now we'll go ahead and heal everybody up. Uh, the CR should be dead, even despite the um, the Scoggle proc. Now, to be honest, I, I always advocate not to bring Sco Violent Skogles in on offense. This is the only team where I make that exception, and it's honestly just because I'm lazy and it, the fights are a little bit faster. I'm not going to lie. Um, you would always be better off not using a Violent Skogle whenever it's possible, because like just like in this case, because he proc the rock, I wound up having to wait four turns to get my next rock up, where normally you would be able to take advantage of Scoggle's passive and let like that enemy Perna keep hitting my Scoggle so that his cooldown accelerated. Uh, it makes for a slower fight, but a more reliable one. Uh, the other reason I do use my Violent Scoggle here is because he's got the best overall rune set of any of my Scoggles because he is on a defense. Now I think uh, we are still good. This Perna did get a lot of healing up, but we're going to be able to kill both the Ciara and the Orion on this rock, and then we can basically just auto out, um, and we'll move on to the next fight. And so here we go, Bastet does attack buff, the Chiwu derps, so I'm going to get my Velijul immunity. Uh, now we did get the defense break on the, um, we did get the defense break on the, um, the Tyrannus. But because the Chiwu derped, uh, even though the Chiwu is going to strip me next turn, the defense break is now gone. And we're good at this point. We'll go ahead and... So now Savannah just used her... Um, ooh, I think we're good. Maybe we're not. That defense break on the Fen Yang was... Okay, yeah, we're good. We are good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take out the Savannah. Uh, look at Bastet, though. Defense breaking both wind units. Both wind units, um, which is not what you really want to see on a defense uh, scaling team. <laughs> uh, but we'll go ahead and transform, and we're good now. I mean, there's there's just not enough damage on the enemy side. They may be able to kill the Tyrannus twice uh, before I can um, uh, before I can um, get my immunity back up. But they can't kill the um, they cannot kill the Vela and the Fenyang. Wow, she defense breaks me again, but there you go. I'm gonna crit on water just to balance things out. Uh, and then I'll defense break fire as well. So we did lose the Tyrannus for the rest of the Guild War, but we did win the match, which is ultimately the most important thing. And we'll move on to the next fight. Okay, for this last fight, I'm just having a little bit of fun on top since we won the first two. We are gonna bring in this Vigor, Skogel, and Beelzebub. Uh, so for those of you who uh, follow my channel, obviously you know Beelzebub's my only LD5. Uh, for those of you who are new, Beelzebub is really not a Guild War monster. You can use him once in a while as a gimmick, and that's what I'm trying to do right here. So, uh, the Vigor runes. Uh, we are in Violent Will, and obviously the Vigor can take a hit, but more importantly he's got the Will runes. I'm bringing in a Shield Will Scoggle. Uh, once again, the Scoggle can take a hit, but more importantly is that Shield and Will. 
And then the Beelzebub does not have will runes. So the hope here is that the Beelzebub winds up getting hit by the Theo and dying, which means that he can come back and one-shot anything at any time. Uh, the Vigor is going to provide my primary damage, sustain crit resist, and then the Scoble's there obviously for the rock and to tank that Kamoon. So as long as the Beelzebub dies early, we pretty much have GG. Even if he doesn't, Vigor's in my best overall rune set and he can kind of carry on this fight. Uh, so there you go, perfect, we got the defense break on the bub. Uh, the bub is almost dead right now, he takes all of the initial damage, which is exactly what we wanted, honestly. Uh, we didn't necessarily want Theo to proc, but it doesn't matter. Uh, now we can actually go straight into this Theo right now. Uh, hopefully, he's gonna get shielded, hopefully we can break the shield with our Vigor next time. Uh, but right now we're just basically free rolling. If they kill anything, the bub's gonna come back and resurrect them. Yes, Beelzebub is the bub, guys. Uh, so even if they kill, like if they kill my Vigor right here, uh, the bub's gonna come back and just one shot. Probably I'll take out that Orion. Uh, they haven't killed me quite yet. And we're gonna get one more rock up here. So now we should see, there we go. Uh, we will go ahead and one shot the Kamoon actually because he was higher health. Uh, Bub's on Vampire, so now my whole team is at full health. Just don't kill the Skogel, please. Don't kill the Skogel. Ah, Skogel's dead, isn't he? Alright, that's okay. We killed the uh, Theo right there, and maybe we can just kill the Orion right here. But either way, this was just a fun team kind of messing around, so the Skogel did land the rock, and there we go. Now, for this team, we have the Fenyang, Tyrannus, and uh, Amelia. So this is obviously a full defense-based team, so what do we do? We bring in Ignore Defense. Uh, obviously, they're going to be a slow team, so my Bastet will outspeed. So, we're going to use the Bastet first. Uh, now, my Kali's about 246 here. She's going to go ahead and just one-shot the Tyrannus, which fully stacks my Odin, who then finishes off the Tyrannus. Uh, we expect Amelia to do absolutely nothing either way, and she doesn't. She just gives the, um, you know, she just goes ahead and gives the defense buff and gets everybody set up, right? So we skill one right there, we go ahead and restack our Odin again with the Kali. Uh, we take out this Fen Yang, and now we can just pretty much auto out on this Amelia. And there you go guys, so that is our G3 Guild War for today. Once again guys, please remember Transmog Pack Giveaway, three winners for Sunday, October 25th, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, which is 1.30 p.m. global server time, streaming live on YouTube. I hope to see you guys there. I'm looking forward to that stream. And I will, of course, be streaming throughout the upcoming week. So if you wanna earn points to get into those giveaways, be sure to join our Discord server. Again, the link to that is in the video description and the stream schedule is posted there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you're still with me to this point, then that means that you probably liked the video, found it entertaining, or even better, both. So please, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below, because those things help the channel grow, and more importantly, they show me that the video is useful, and that's the whole reason I do this in the first place.